Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I've known Greg since I'm 15 and he was always riding, so I was always riding. And uh, one day he decided that he wanted to go into his own business and uh, we knew of the magazine because there was another editor running one in another region. And uh, he goes, let's put together a motorcycle magazine. This all started because her and my daughter want to come back to New York. That's the bottom line. I call up this guy, Paul Allen, that was the founder of Full Throttle down in, you know, in uh, Tampa, Florida. I say, hey, Paul, I says, listen, I says, my brother Lauren and my wife might, you know, want to start up a magazine out in California. I said, what are we going to do? He goes, well, what part of California? He says, the south end of California. He goes, nah, that's already locked up. I got the northern end. I said, wait a minute. I looked at my wife, and she was washing the dishes at the time, you know. And uh, I said, how about New York? He goes, well, New York is wide open. I said, I'll call you right back. I humped the phone. And I looked at my wife, I said, well, you, you've been complaining about going back to New York. Well, here, here's your job. Now you and your brother can start your own magazine in New York. Let's go. I was missing New York way too much. I mean, my whole family, we were all born and raised here. And then when it hit me right in the face, he goes, let's go. It's been a long journey. It was a tough journey. And the reason why it was so tough was because I was kind of thrown into the seat of being an editor and a publisher, and I had no prior experience. But I've learned a lot, and it's been a great trip. I wouldn't miss it for the world, and uh, you know I'm glad I did it. I really I met wonderful people, and we work with a lot of charities, and uh, you know the biker community here just has open arms for Full Throttle. They love our work, and it makes you feel good. The biker community they're very giving people. Anybody needs something, or they hear about someone needing something, let's put a bike run together. And we do. We're the voice, kind of. I, I kind of look at us as the voice of the biker community because with that magazine and the internet, you know, our website, we could reach hundreds of thousands of people, and we do. So, uh, and through this all, I mean, we've, we've joined the events committee for the March of Dimes. We're trying to get something going with Make-A-Wish. Um, we've also done um, uh, Harry Chapin, the Long Island Cares Food Bank. We came here to put advertisement in a motorcycle magazine and go riding, mm -hmm. but you know, I got four motorcycles, and I think I maybe got maybe 20,000 miles on all four together. And I never forget, we're going over the 59th Street Bridge. And she says, uh, listen, uh, I have to tell you something. I says, what's that? She goes, you're going to be building another bike. I says, hon, I just got done with this other bike that's in the trail not even four days ago. I'm not building another bike. Because, you know, you get stressed, you know. Then she says, well, it's for the bait. And, you know, it started hitting on me. And I says, all right, I'll do the bike, but I got to do it one way, do it my way. And that's why I took all, all well, the children. The, the babies that were the poster children for the March of Dimes. The March of Dimes here on Long Island. And it was pretty cool. So that's, we had them all painted on a bike, and I was glad to do it. And I was glad to mm -hmm. see the kids. Because the kids, when I seen them, the picture, they're this big. Now they're walking up to the motorcycle two years later, and they're touching and sitting on it. And that, that makes you feel good.